hot. Meg wet pants as one young world band and boycotted her on stage for praising herself 54 times. Meghan Markle is brand itself involved with her latest public appearance. The Duchess of Sussex, who spoke about her journey from an actress to princess in Manchester this week, is called out for saying me 54 times in her mere seven minute long speech. It was several years ago in 2014 that I was first invited to be a counselor at One Young World, Meghan began her speech. In many ways I was probably like a lot like you, I was young, ambitious. She added, how on earth did I get here? There I was, I was the girl from Suits, I was surrounded by world leaders, humanitarians, prime ministers and activists that I had such a deep long respect and admiration for. And I was invited to pull up a seat at the table. Commenting upon Meghan's speech, royal expert Ingrid Seward dubbed her words nonsense. She said, I can't visualize or comprehend how the 2,000 young people understood a word of what she was talking about. It made no sense. It was all about her and related everything to herself. I don't think she knew what she was talking about. It was just me, me, me and praising herself, she concluded. In other news, Meghan Markle stole the show at the One Young World Summit in Manchester last night as a body language expert dubbed Prince Harry awkward and anxious. Last week, Meghan Markle found herself at the center of a media storm following her bombshell interview with New York-based magazine The Cut. Journalist Alison P. Davis was invited to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's home in Montecito for a candid conversation about Meghan's podcast archetypes. However, the Duchess also gave insight into her and her husband Prince Harry's new lives in the U.S., which they chose in favor of their senior positions within the royal family two years ago. Ms. Davis began her story, The Conditions Are Right for Confession, going on to describe the sunny day in California on which she and Meghan sat down for the exclusive interview. Sitting on a cozy chair in her beautiful sitting room, the Duchess asked in a conspiratorial hush, Do you want to know a secret? Following a moment of silence, she revealed, I'm getting back, on Instagram. Meghan's confession has come as a surprise to some royal commentators, who recalled the Duchess' previous decision not to use social media. Speaking on last week's episode of their podcast, Royally Obsessed, Rachel Bowie and Roberta Fiorito noted Meghan's interview with Fortune magazine in October 2020, during which the Duchess revealed she was not using social media anymore. Ms. Bowie said, a memorable moment that I did want to talk about, the Instagram. To have that be in the opening paragraph, that Meghan might be back on Instagram, totally stunned me. Ms. Fiorito added, I didn't like that she then backtracked it, though. That made me upset. The pair questioned whether the Duchess' social media return is really happening, with Ms. Fiorita recalling, she did say in Fortune magazine that she was never going to return to social media and there were a lot of reasons why, so it felt like she was trolling. In her story, Ms. Davis admitted Meghan's confession could have been a troll. She explained, delivering a nothing with such gravitas feels as if Meghan, who has been so trolled by the media, is serving it back, just a little. However, the journalist added, but, as I quickly realize, it is actually news. Later in the interview, Meghan said she was no longer sure she wanted to return to the social platform, backtracking on her early confession. When Meghan and Harry got engaged back in November 2017, the former Hollywood actress had to relinquish control of her personal Instagram account, on which she had managed to amass 3 million followers. Before her relationship with the prince, Meghan was a prolific social media user and even had her own lifestyle blog, The Tig, in which she shared insight into her life with her readers. The Duchess told the cut. It was a big adjustment, a huge adjustment to go from that kind of autonomy to a different life. As an official member of the royal family, she was able to join Harry, Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William on at Kensington Royal, a pre-existing Instagram account that she had no control over. In April 2019, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex launched their own profile, at Sussex Royal, which accumulated a million followers within six hours. Going against royal protocol, Meghan and Harry went on to break their own news and posted photos when and how they wanted to. 
but soon after they stepped back from their royal duties, the couple had to shut down the account as they were longer permitted to use royal in their branding.